Whether you are an aspiring writer, an entrepreneur or someone who simply wants to share their passion with the world, starting a blog can be an exciting and fulfilling endeavor. In today's digital age, blogs have become a powerful platform to express your thoughts, connect with like-minded individuals and even make a living. However, with so much information out there, starting a blog can seem overwhelming and confusing. But no need to fear. Today with this video, we'll guide you through the step-by-step -step process of starting a blog so that you can confidently launch your blog and share your voice with the world. But before we begin with that, I'd like to request you guys to enable that subscribe button and bell icon for our IntelliPath YouTube channel so that you won't miss out on multiple updates like this coming from our end. First of all, let's try to comprehend what exactly this blog is all about. So, do you know what a diary is? A diary is a special book where you can write your thoughts, feelings and experiences. Well, a blog is just like a diary, but instead of writing in a book, you write on a special website that people all over the world can read. It's a bit like having your own newspaper or magazine that you get to write all about the things you like the things you want to share and the things you want to teach others. You can write about anything you want like your favorite games, your favorite books or even favorite animals. And just like a diary, you can add pictures and videos to make it even more interesting. Let me put one shocking fact forward. According to web research, there are over 32 million plus blogs in the United States alone. What that means is the internet is exploding with growth right now. More people than ever are online. This explosion in growth means more potential readers for your blog. In short, if you are thinking about starting a blog, then there is no better time than right now. So let's look into the step-by-step -step methodology to ace this game of blogging. The first step on our list is unleash ideas within you. Remember guys, you don't need to reinvent blogging to be successful. You just need to be specific about what you want to talk about. The best way to do that is to get inspired by someone you admire in the same niche or industry. Do they have a blog? If yes, read it. Then begin to let your ideas form. If you have no one specific, find someone you admire. Then let the ideas form. Take your unique experiences and speak about them in your own voice. Use your vocabulary and personality and don't think about it too much. Let it flow. Ultimately, you'll find your own tribe if you stay consistent. Before you choose this topic that you'd like to write about, you should ask yourself two questions. Do I enjoy learning about this topic? And are people over the internet really interested in this same topic or not? Now the answer to the first question is very introspective but for the second question just go ahead and google the topic you want to write about. There you'll find millions of results aimed at people who like what you do like as well. That means the niche you choose is quite viable. The next step down the line is going to be deciding the name for your blog. Remember guys this name is going to be your brand. It's how People will remember you, but don't overthink about naming stuff. The magic of a brand gets built over time. The best way to land on a perfect name is to start with brainstorming. In the previous or rather first step, we talked about unleashing all of your ideas and nailing down your niche. Now it's time to take those ideas and turn them into a name. So open up a new spreadsheet or grab a pen and paper. Then spend about 10 minutes writing down every word that comes to your mind. From there, start combining words and phrases until something stands out to you. Aim for 5 to 10 potential names and write them down. Now it's time to see if those names are available as domains. A domain is where your blog lives on the internet. For example, intellipath.com is our domain. Basically, this domain name is something you'll type into the address bar to find us. Also, you can't use this domain name for yourself because we already own it, right? So remember, you'll have to find your own unique and new brand name. Once you find that, it's time to move on to the next step. That is, getting your blog online. 
To get your blog up and running, you need two things. Blog hosting, also known as web hosting and blogging software. The good news is that these typically come packaged together. A blog host is a company that stores all of the files for your blog and delivers them to the user when they type in your blog name. You must have a blog host in order to have a blog. You also need to have software to build your own blog. Some popular web hosting providers include Bluehost, SiteGround and HostGator. Also, for building your blog, you could use WordPress. It is the most customizable, easy to use and popular blog building software. Once you decide on web hosting software, go ahead and install WordPress over the web host. It will be a piece of cake because most web hosting providers offer one-click installation for WordPress. Next step will be configuring a theme for your blog. WordPress offers a variety of free and premium themes that you can use to customize the design of your blog. Choose a theme that reflects your brand and content and is responsive and easy to navigate. Also, make sure to install multiple plugins. Plugins that can help with SEO, social media sharing, contact forms and many more that can make your blog rank towards the top. On that note, we have come to the fourth step which is customizing and optimizing your WordPress blog. There are WordPress plugins for everything from adding e-commerce functionality or contact forms to your site to analyzing your content for SEO improvements or even boosting site security and performance. SEO is a multi-billion dollar industry. It is the process of optimizing your website to be found in search engines for particular keywords and phrases. If you are new to SEO, then this may seem little daunting. With that said, WordPress makes it insanely simple to optimize the technical aspect of your blog. The majority of your SEO efforts will be focused on creating engaging content for real people. Whether that's through text, videos or images, your job as a blogger is to spark a relationship with readers. For stuff like optimization, you can get plugins to suggest better moves. Yoast SEO is one of the most used tools for blogging with WordPress in current times. You can make use of it to produce sound SEO content. Now that the technical side of your blogging site is configured, it's time to start with content work. You'll start with brainstorming blog topics. Begin by thinking about your experiences, success, failures or discoveries related to your niche. What insights can you share? What ideas are you looking to explore in depth? As you think of topics, try to get into your readers' heads. Here are some questions to guide you through the brainstorming process. What characteristics does my target audience possess? What subject does my target audience get excited about? What challenges does my target audience face? I mean, what are their pain points that they come across while dealing with this topic? Once you gather answers to all of these questions, you'll know the outline of how your content should be and what it shall cover. After that comes the phase where you do the keyword research and actually begin with article writing. For the keyword research purpose, you could use tools like SEMrush, HREFS or even Google Keyword Planner. Once you have a feasible list of keywords, it's time to move on to the writing phase. While writing, you'll need to strategically target your selected keywords throughout the article. This means two things. First, you'll need to sprinkle those phrases throughout your post, but try to do so as organically as possible because no one likes unnatural keyword stuffing. Second, you should structure your article based on the format you see in the top 10 search results for those keywords. Let's say, for example, that you want to write an article about your favorite carrot recipe. Start by checking your competitors, the top 10 search results on Google for the keyword carrot cake recipe. When you type that phrase into the search engine, you'll notice that top results are written as numbered steps rather than as a story. You can therefore assume that most readers prefer the list format for these types of posts. 
in order to provide valuable content to your readers and to rank high on Google as a result, you'll want your own post to assume a similar format. Likewise, you'll want to touch on all the main points covered by your competitors. This doesn't mean you can't be creative. It's just to say that in addition to sharing your own original insights, you should cover all the bases. To continue with our example, let's assume that when you look up carrot cake recipe, the top search result includes a section about how to make cream cheese frosting. This is an indicator that many readers find this content helpful. In addition, it shows that Google has preference for article including that detail. You'd be wiser then to touch on this idea in your own article as well. I hope you get what I mean. Basically, this is what optimization is literally all about. Once done with writing your blog post, it's time to publish it. Make sure to add a meta description for the same before publishing. You are not done here. You need to publish more such blogs. Be consistent with making them live over the internet. Use an editorial calendar for that purpose or you can also use dedicated software such as Trello. That's all we have for today. I hope that this session was informative for all of you guys out there. I thank you all for being here till the end of this video. If you have liked this video, do press that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to IntelliPath YouTube channel so that you won't miss out on multiple updates coming from our end. Just a quick info guys, IntelPath provides an advanced certification in digital marketing and analytics course by CCE IIT Madras. You will get to learn from IIT Madras faculty and industry experts. Reach out to us to know more.